Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Tune Up Tuesday, it is Tune Up Tuesday. There we go, Tune Up Tuesday. Uh, for those of you that have tuned into some of these, I promised at least for the first month of the year, this is gonna be a bonus one. I would, before I do my Tuesday morning, um, I, I go to, I fight, train, tune up my skills on Tuesday mornings before I go to work. And what I've been doing is just sharing some ideas that hopefully we all can use to tune up our own fights in the larger, more meaningful sense in our lives, right? So today I'm going to talk about something really simple, really clear, and I think pretty profound if we let it seep in. You know, one of the very first things uh, my coach at Las Vegas Krav Maga, can you see that out there? Great place to train. Coach Britt was talking about the, he was just talking about the reality of, of conflict. And he said something that I thought rang true beyond the context of a street fight, but in the context of my greater life's experience. And basically what he was saying was that there's never going to be such thing as a one-on-one -on -one fight. And to prepare for that and to think that that's how it's going to be is to do yourself a fast disservice in your preparation for reality. And he went on to say that because in every situation, the best odds you can hope for are three a one, three to one, three against one, because it's going to be you versus your opponent. And I'm going to extend that to say your challenges, your problem, whatever it is you're facing. It's going to be you versus your opponent, but it's also going to be you versus your fear, and it's going to be you versus the limit of your personal skill set. It's always going to be you versus those three. The best odds you can ever hope for are three to one. Interesting, right? And think about that in the broader context of your life. But here's the silver lining, because you know I always look for it and I always find it. Because two of our greatest opponents are always near us, are always with us, fear and the limits of our skill set. Because they are always with us, especially when we do things that matter, that gives us a great opportunity to get to know those two opponents, to understand them, to understand their effect on us, to prepare ourselves to deal with them and possibly even leverage them being there. That's a tremendous advantage in a personal strategy. The best odds you can hope for in a conflict that matters is three to one. But for some of you, those are odds you you can live with. Hey guys, have a great tune-up Tuesday.